doing, man? What the fuck you doing? I'm sorry. Took me so long to enter the picture. I could have sworn I already did a reply to this video. It must have disappeared. I'm going to do another reply to this video. Because I just saw somebody else did a reply to this video. Now, things were different back in the days. We used to be able to speak when a police officer approaches you. Hey, man, you know, what's the problem? Oh, man, I don't know, officer, blah, 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 whatever. People could actually have a dialogue with the so-called law. Nowadays, if you speak up, they will bust you in the head. They will, they will intimidate. When you speak up, the police officers automatically assume that you think that you're better or stronger, that you can take them on. When you speak up is when they're most afraid of you. It's when they go to reaching for guns and shit for no apparent reason at all. They try to crack down on us and defeat us every chance they get don't matter what you got who you are when you stand up they want you to sit down I don't owe the police nothing when they pull me over I have to be a man I have to speak up I have to say something I don't say something. Can we search your car? Why? Why search my car? Somebody once told me when the police ask you, can they search your car? Why don't you just let them search your car if ain't nothing wrong? It's because they don't have a reason to search my car. If I look like somebody who just robbed somebody, take me downtown. Don't don't pull me over, search me, and, and have lights beaming on me in front of the middle. Everybody driving by, see me in the middle of the street, hands behind my back. Oh, there's nothing wrong. But everybody in town got to see you on your hands and knees with your hands behind your back, facing the street so everybody can see you. They intimidate you. That's why people don't call the police when something goes down. It's because for too many years, they have no dialogue with the police. How can I depend on somebody to take care of me, to try to save me, to be there to dodge bullets for me when I can't trust the person to call the person when somebody is shooting at me? It's not what the police have done to us. It's what we have allowed them to do to us. It's what we have become for them to do this. Do these just the ones to go fuck with? Is these young people, these black people, these Mexicans, these young white kids, are they just the ones to go fuck with? Yes, they are. It's because young people have the pack mentality. 12 o'clock at night, if you ain't got no job uniform on, what the fuck you doing riding around? Looking for a good time, looking for something to do. If you're looking for something to do at midnight, what the hell do you do in the morning? The whole purpose of life is to work and build a better you. If motherfuckers is willy-nilly all fucking day, that's why they pull us over all night. 
perception. Everybody wants to look young. Everybody wants to feel like they're part of now. So people dress according to the times. Therefore, you appear to look like a young person. You got the big shiny rims on your motherfucking car. Like you're 15, 16 years old and this is your first ride. Of course you're going to get flat like you from the street. When you walk around and you dressed up like that's where you come from. But even if you're from the street, that don't mean you deserve to be pushed down. Foot on your back, guns drawn. You do not have to pull a gun out to ask anybody who speak English a goddamn question. What is the purpose of the guns being drawn before the questions being asked? That is another factor of intimidation. Because once you stand up, they want to put you down. Who are they? Who are the powers that be? Those are our legislature. Those people who create the laws that we have to follow by. Those people who speak for us. We govern ourselves. In other words, what better way to capture a people but throughout their own words, throughout their own actions? What's the best way to put a man in a box? You let him build it. You let him stand in it. And then you put the top down on it. What? are we doing as a people to better ourselves so the police cannot get away with killing us bound upon the rules that we gave them to enforce us with some people say I speak in a circle shit this woman brought this video to us weeks ago Telling us how these people were shot in the back. One of these fucking people that was shot was fucking mentally handicapped. You have a situation of fear. People are looting. People are stealing. People are robbing. People are raping and murdering and killing. Everything that moves. The world is ending. The floods have come in. Noah's Ark did not fly through the neighborhoods. Shit was broke down. Everything was fucked up. Mayhem and destruction everywhere. Shoot first, ask questions last. Was the order of the day. So what's gonna happen? Well, something major goes down. Bigger than 9-11. Bigger than Pearl Harbor. Bigger than Hiroshima. Bigger than the gas chambers. Bigger than the wooden boats with the little black men chained to the bottom. Bigger than the extinction of all the dinosaurs. What happens when something bigger happens? and our military turns inward. And for the first time in modern history, America flies back five, 600 years. What happens when the tanks are rolling down the streets of California, through Texas, Memphis, Chicago? What happens when Los Angeles is laying in ruins and San Francisco is just a dream? I'll still be here. Because I ain't going nowhere.